Do you love to scrapbook but you're short on time? Or maybe when you do have time at the end of the day, you're just too darn tired. Well, if so, then this video is for you. I have a busy week. Heck, I have a busy life, but I thought, you know what? What better way to challenge myself to be creative every day than to bring you along? Because I have a feeling that a lot of you struggle with the same time management or energy levels as I do. So I'm going to bring you along and show you my little tips and tricks to get scrapbooking done on the go. You don't always need a dedicated space or a quiet house or a big chunk of time. So let's go ahead. I'm I'm gonna head to the doctor and when we come back I'll show you my first tip to scrapbook on the go. Okay I just finished at the doctor and I have some time to kill that I can just sit in my car. So what I'm gonna do is pick out the photos that I wanna use on my next layout and I might even pick out the sketch that I wanna use because using a sketch helps things come together faster. So let's flip over to my phone and I'll show you how I pick out photos. I'm here in my favorites album and I am pretty good at uh, after an event or after I take several photos, I favorite them. And that means I put a little heart here at the bottom of the, of the photo in my phone. And that means that I want to print this photo and use it to scrapbook. I'll usually edit my photos at that time too. That way I have that kind of stuff done ahead of time and I don't get overwhelmed when it's actually time to scrapbook. Unless I have a really big event and just have tons of photos because that's always overwhelming, but that's for another time. I'm thinking that today I want to do these ones of my kids first day of school. This was just last week or I guess it was two weeks ago on the 15th because there aren't a ton of photos. I've got four of them and that is going to be less overwhelming than doing something with a lot more photos such as these photos from my daughter's birthday. I am excited to uh, scrapbook these and I actually have the perfect uh, paper and materials in mind but I don't want to do something that is a two-page layout and is going to take me more time this week. So there's your next tip. Choose fewer photos if you don't have as much time because a double page layout, although I know we all love them, takes longer to do than a single page layout. So I am going to stick to these first day of school photos and typically for the first day of school photos I stick to a one page layout. But I'm going to fit four pages on this layout and my plan is that this photo here that is my favorite is going to be a four by six. And then this one, my it's very similar, but I still want to include it because I just love how tight my son is squeezing my daughter. It's just so cute. So I'm going to print this one at three by four. And then I have a photo of each of them individually that I want to print at three by four. And I think I'm actually going to trim them down to three by three or maybe even two and a half by two and a half. But I'm going to print them at three by four and then I can crop from there. Now that I have my photos selected, I need to collage them and prepare them to print. I like to use an app called PicFrame. It's my favorite, but it is only available for iPhones. I do have some alternate uh, tutorials on my channel including an in-depth one on PicFrame and I will link all those videos down in the description below. So I'm going to go here to my favorites album and that is the easiest way to grab these photos because they were fairly recent. So I'm going to select the first two that I'm going to collage at three by four and that's these two and then you can see up here at the top of the screen that I have this uh, option right here with two boxes on the sides. Now if I had landscape orientation photos I would want to choose Use this two to three ratio that means four by six the three by two is six by four you've got a square option you've got all of these options if you wanted to do a five by seven you would go here to custom and then go here down at the bottom and choose five by seven and now this is a five by seven option but I'm gonna go back here to two by three so first thing I'm gonna do is go to the bottom tap border and bring that all the way down because I don't want a border and then you can pinch and zoom within these boxes to zoom and crop if you want so I am going to bring my daughter's photo to somewhere about there and then my son about here. Do you see my dog photobombing in the background there? <laughs> it's so funny. 
All right, so that looks pretty good to me. So now on the bottom right, I'm gonna hit this little export arrow, make sure I've got it the highest resolution, which I always keep it at, the save and print resolution. That makes sure it exports at high resolution. If you're using a different collage app, make sure that it exports at high resolution. A lot of them don't export at printing resolution because they're made to like post on social media. So I'm going to tap save, and then that is going to save it to my camera roll. Now you might be thinking, what about that other three by four? It's gonna be hanging out all by itself because one's gonna be a four by six, and you're absolutely right. And when that situation arises, I will usually go and find another photo that I'm gonna want at three by four and collage them together, and then I'll just hang on to it until I'm ready to scrapbook it. So I'll probably choose this one here of my daughter and her friend so that I can print this together with that. And so I'll do the same process. I'll just collage this one with this one and print those. And then this one, that's gonna be four by six, um, I can edit it right here in the app because when you take a photo, it takes it in a four by three ratio or three by four ratio. It's not four by six. So you can go and right in the photo, you can edit it to four by six. You can hit this crop button and then up at the very top where you see all these little boxes, tap that. And then along the bottom, you've got all of these ratio options. You're gonna choose two to three, which is four to six, four by six. You're gonna choose that. And then you saw that change. And then I can zoom in and kind of put it where I want it for my four by six photo. I'm gonna put it Oh, probably right there. I don't want them perfectly center because photos usually the composition looks better if it's a little off center. Keep the rule of threes in mind. See how the grid shows up when I've got my finger on it and I'm moving it. So I've got my daughter kind of on that right line. My son's eyes are on the top uh, horizontal line. So I think that's lined up pretty good. And then we can see my flowers and our little Padres flag in the background there. And I didn't want to zoom it in too much because I wanted to make sure that I got her new shoes, both of their new shoes on there. I think I like it like this. I wanted kind of that on the very left, see that step? I wanted to kind of close that gap between the step and the mulch. So I'm gonna put it right about there. I'm probably overthinking things, but I like the composition of that. And especially since this is my highlight photo, I like to make sure it's edited and cropped nicely. So I am gonna go um, just show you adjust. I do adjust all of my photos and edit them. Typically I just hit this little auto um, adjust feature and that typically does a pretty good job and I might have to go in and kind of do a few little other tweaks but for the most part that will kind of brighten and even things out and just a, an easy way to edit. So we're done selecting and collaging our photos. They are ready to print. It took a little longer than I thought so I don't think I'm going to get to selecting a sketch today but stay tuned because I will definitely do that tomorrow. All right, I am home and I need to get some work done and I wanna print those photos. So before I go upstairs to do that, I wanted to grab a little pick-me-up. It is the afternoon, getting that afternoon slump and this is my favorite way to pick up that energy. This is called Zip Fizz. I'm not sponsored or anything, I'm just obsessed with this stuff. It's a powder you add to your drink, it's sugar-free, got tons of electrolytes, vitamins, B12 for energy and it really does help me through that afternoon slump. So I'm gonna go upstairs, let's print those photos and get to work. I've got my photos printed easy peasy. I printed them on my Epson PM400. I love, love, love that printer for four by six and five by seven. In fact, I've got a whole tutorial full of tips and tricks for printing at home for that printer specifically. If you'd like to watch that, I will link that down below. If I ever need to print larger than five by seven, then I use my Epson 8500, which prints photos beautifully um, up to eight and a half by 11. And it also is my all purpose printer that I use for just like printing anything that I need to print. I'm happy with what I got done today in limited time. I've got to get back to work, but be sure to join me for my challenge tomorrow. I will choose my sketch. I will choose my paper and hopefully get some of the photos down on the layout. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of different style of format from me today. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think. And I hope that it has inspired you to just do a little bit each day so that you feel creative and inspired and keep those creative juices flowing. When this next video in my challenge is complete, I will leave it linked right here. So be sure to click that and I'll see you over there.